2024 Polestar 2 RWD First Test Exploring the Electric Driving Experience Upon its initial introduction, the Polestar 2 EV positioned itself as a credible alternative to the Tesla Model 3, a leading premium sedan in the US. Having transitioned from Volvo's performance-focused division to an independent brand, Polestar faced high expectations. However, the vehicle's range and fast-charging capabilities, critical factors for electric vehicles EVs, fell short of Tesla's standards. In response, the 2024 Polestar 2 underwent updates, boasting an extended range, rear, and all-wheel drive configurations and enhanced driving dynamics to enhance its competitiveness. Pros More range Settled ride Excellent one-pedal driving Cons Cozy interior Light steering feel Poor infotainment graphics. Our evaluation focused on the Rear Wheel Drive Plus variant, featuring a long-range battery with an EPA-rated 307 miles per charge. Impressively, the performance, comfort, and range left a positive impression. In essence, this updated version represents the car Polestar should have launched initially. The 2024 Polestar 2 Plus we tested is powered by a single rear-mounted motor producing 299 horsepower and 361 lb-ft of torque. The upgraded 82 kilowatt-hour battery provides ample power, responding swiftly to throttle inputs. With the motor now positioned at the rear, a departure from the front-mounted motor in the previous iteration, the car exhibited a lively demeanor around town. Whether merging onto the freeway or navigating local streets, the Polestar demonstrated controlled and smooth power delivery. It emerged as a satisfying daily driver, showcasing refinement surpassing the pre-refresh model. In terms of acceleration, our instrumented testing revealed the Polestar 2 RWD reaching 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. Slightly outpacing the single-motor 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland we tested at 5.6 seconds. However, in braking performance, the Tesla claimed victory, stopping from 60 miles per hour in 115 feet compared to the Polestar's 124. The Polestar's one-pedal driving mode stood out for its excellent performance in gradually slowing down. Configured at its most aggressive setting, it exhibited a seamless transition to a complete stop, providing a remarkable driving experience. The brake pedal, too, felt robust, avoiding the flat or unnatural sensation present in some EVs or hybrids. Apart from the updated powertrain, the Polestar 2 underwent suspension revisions. While minor vibrations persisted over uneven surfaces, overall changes resulted in significant improvements, delivering a more composed and refined ride akin to a luxury car. Despite these enhancements, there remains a desire for more steering weight, as it currently leans toward the lighter end of the spectrum. The EPA rates the 2024 Polestar 2 with the longest range at 320 miles per charge, while our Plus model, equipped with larger 20-inch wheels, is set at 307 miles. In our experience with the vehicle, the estimated range closely matched the distances we covered. Stay tuned for an upcoming comprehensive range test to determine its actual single-charge travel capabilities. The cabin, however, remains a point of controversy. Changes inside are not immediately noticeable compared to other aspects of the car. Notably, Polestar continues to use Google's Android Automotive OS with built-in Google services. While it is a competent infotainment system, we were somewhat disappointed with its graphics, particularly in Google Maps. The Apple CarPlay on our iPhone offered a sharper and more modern appearance, outperforming the Polestar's Google system, which occasionally experienced freezing issues. Despite these flaws, the built-in navigation proves advantageous for long distances, displaying the car's estimated range and available charging stations. The infotainment screen's vertical layout also has its drawbacks, such as placing A, C buttons at the bottom, requiring us to divert attention from the road for simple tasks like adjusting air vents. Aside from infotainment concerns, those considering a Tesla Model 3 and a Polestar 2 will likely appreciate the Swedish model's luxurious interior, which exudes elegance and a premium feel compared to the Model 3, especially the current pre-refresh model. Polestar offers additional convenience features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, Tesla maintains an edge in interior space. The Polestar's center console lacks storage space, and when the cup holders were occupied, there was nowhere to place keys, wallet, or phone. Comparing it to the Model 3, the 2024 Polestar 2 now feels competitive, with notable improvements. 
However, the Model 3's major advantage lies in its pricing, particularly with the availability of the supercharger network. The rear-drive Model 3, providing 272 miles of range, starts at $40,630, while the least expensive Polestar 2 begins at $51,300. Additionally, the Model 3 qualifies for the $7,500 federal incentives, whereas the Polestar only qualifies for this credit through leasing, not purchasing, due to its Chinese manufacturing. Tesla's ongoing price reductions and the reintroduction of the Model 3 RWD further enhance its affordability compared to the Polestar. Is the additional $11,000 for the Polestar justified, and does it outshine the upcoming Model 3 Highland set to debut in early 2024? The impending release of the Model 3 Highland, with its extensive list of improvements, might draw potential customers away from Polestar. Despite the initial flaws of the Polestar 2, it stood as a reasonable alternative to the Tesla Model 3 from the beginning, and the post-refresh model has seen enhancements in every aspect. However, Tesla's recent strategic moves, including the imminent refresh of its popular sedan and price reductions, pose a formidable challenge. Polestar has an opportunity to enhance its position, with a more competitive pricing strategy being a key starting point. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.